day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And then I want to go both YouTube and Facebook. All right, give us a prayer, brother. Get you already stirred up anyway. <laughs> I, hey, look, I, I did keep it from you getting too stirred up, though. Did, did you see it? I think, well, I think we did a good job, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let us, let us pray. Father, in the name of Yeshua. Yes. Known by many as Jesus. Yes, Lord. We, we, we truly thank you for this day. Yes. That is uh, known to many in this nation Come as on. Resurrection Day. Come on now. <laughs> and and, and it, it holds a dear and deep sentimental meaning to us because yeah. without this day without this day what this day represents father yes then yes. we are basically wasting our time yeah. because if he did not Come on. receive the power and the authority which you wrought in him to raise him Yes. from the dead and we can't believe that then where do our belief where does it come from that we shall mm. be risen from the dead come on now so we thank you for that knowledge in and of itself mm. we thank you that we were resurrected from our sleep mm. to actually participate in another day to perfect ourselves yes. through your word. Yes. We thank you that the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, mm. is here with us. Yes. Speaking what you would have us to know in and through our spirit, that it shall manifest in our minds and yes. become fruitful in our lives. Mm. We thank you for the revelation Come on, that now. comes forth yes. during this session. Mm, mm, we mm. thank you that it shall come forth with all simplicity. Simplicity. In a way that we shall get an understanding. Yes. And know within our knowers that it is your word. Yes. which is your will mm. for us in our lives that we give to you. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for those who may be hearing this word. Come on. That the same power that is going forth in this setting. Yes. Shall be an eternal blessing for yes. anyone who hears. Yes. And that they receive what we receive yes and that the holy spirit is with them during the time of their listening so that they can receive what we receive yes father we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise that is due to you because yes. we know it does not come from us mm. We know that you are worthy, you that are you are worthy. more than worthy. Yes. And so we give thanks in your son, Joheshua's name. Yes. Amen. 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 That's a blessing there. The reason for, just like, just like the 25th of December, the reason today is about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. And Joshua is his name. And it means Savior. 
And the fact is that we, it's not about the bunny for some people. It's not about the Easter egg. <laughs> it's about the resurrection of our Savior. And, and I like the fact you made that statement is if it wasn't for that, we're basically worshiping in vain. You know? And to, to let everybody know that one of the titles that we're going to talk about today is God is our Savior. And there's nobody else that we bow down to. Christ shows the example. We, we don't bow down to man. We don't bow down to, to Satan. We, we bow down to our Savior. God is our Savior. And I want to show the title today. And, you know, I think we're, I may want to let you know too, brother, I may be getting ready to go back to uh, uh, eight o'clock just to, to give people, you know, how some people yeah. doing good service yeah. late on the day. They may want to catch a, a little bit of a morning of revelation that we do. Mm -hmm. then, they, then they can go ahead and head to the service. I may just, I may just start off and you could come at nine. It was fine. Well, but, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about that too because I'm up and I'm like, man, we used to be already in this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I, and I think that it gives some people. Remember Jackson? We, we had changed because he already, he had to go to our service early anyway. Yeah. But uh, I, I think, like you said, it gives people that flexibility. They can get some word in, or discussions in, and then they can, if they want to shift to a service you know, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock service, they they already had one service and one study done already. Mm -hmm. And I know there were some other people used to do that. They'd catch it in the morning. Then they'd drop off to go to church service. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the title is, is, is to remind people, besides God Almighty, there is no Savior. That includes everything. There's nothing between you and God. That's, I think that's, where a lot of people be turned off is not because of God. They be turned off because of religious institutions, man. You ever, ever you find a lot of people actually uh, left Christianity or left worshiping God because of man. Yeah. You know, I think it's everything is because they they point to man. You know, hey, he was, this, this stuff was created for the control people. You know. That, that all of the things they put behind it because of what we do, our traditions. So let's let's look at the fact is that we have to understand that we worship God in his written. Here's this, read these scriptures for us. Of what, what happened is this is a temptation of Christ, and I'm dealing with that last temptation. Okay. Matthew 4 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and show of him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them mm -hmm. and said unto him all these things will i give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then said jesus unto him get thee hence satan for it is written come on thou now. shalt worship the lord thy god come on and him only Shall Come thou serve? Come on. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Amen. And what's it written? There go, you're going to read that for him. That's what the scripture says there. Yeah. Exodus 34, 14. For thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. He said, no, I, I ain't going to set, just like you kind of, if you, you're a parent, you're the father of that house, right? And just think some other man, and that, that's, that's one of the things people get, right? <laughs> if you're the man in the house and then somebody else is, is being recognized as the man, as the father, how would you feel? <laughs> <laughs> you look at it, uh, it'd be like, oh, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> Well, that's that's what God sees sometimes when we do that. When we try to put something else in between him and his children. 
think about it. Yeah. That is deep, ain't it? That is deep. And the other thing about that is that this one here, I like this temptation, this last temptation. It was the last temptation of the 40 days of uh, temp being tempted. He brought that out because how often do we in form, some form of fashion, bow down to other things and it caused destruction? Yeah. Yeah. We want to bow down to money, power. People have killed people because of things. All because they put that before God. And, and that's something we got to always work, walk out. But God said, you have no other God. You should not worship any other God. So anytime people try to get you to worship things or worship them, you know, I remember some of those uh, recruiting movies you sit there and they said is, I'm your mama now. You ever heard, you ever heard that? Some of the drill signs, yeah. I'm your mama. I'm your daddy. And I, I wouldn't be surprised some of them got so far and said, I'm your God here. This is my domain. This is my kingdom, you know. But the, the point is they try to assert authority or try to put you in a position where they are what you look up to. And I think that's what I'm saying is when they do say I'm your mama or your daddy, that that's that's what people are trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. So look at these scriptures here, just to, to put in there about the savior. I just wanted to make sure people understand what God says. Uh so I put all these different excerpts and you can time you can chime in if they want, but just if you don't mind reading some of these for people. Okay. Um Isaiah 4311. I, even I, am the Lord. And besides me, there is no savior. You heard that? <laughs> no savior. Which means that when we talk about Yeshua, which means Savior, yeah, is 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 nailing it down. Is that oh yeah, where he came from, the whole story of of, of the birth of Emmanuel, is that he is totally different from anything else, yeah. and he had to be without sin. You know, he didn't come through the through the blood of Adam, the seed of you know. Uh, uh only thing that the seed of Adam or Abraham was the what the the, the transport vehicle. Yeah, well, to, to put a suit Adam, on. Jesus is the prototype uh -huh. for Adam. Uh -huh. He was the prototype Adam? for Adam. Yeah. And, and that's why he is the last Adam. Exactly. They won't let come after him. Right. Because he's the first and last. Right. And it's funny they say Adam, isn't it? They call him Adam. Adam. In, the, in Genesis. Yeah, Genesis, right? <laughs> and then they call Joshua the last Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> it just, it just, you know, people don't know what we were talking about prior to this, this video, but. <laughs> it, 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 the vibe was very clear. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not giving y'all, I, I, I don't know where y'all get all this stuff from. I'm just telling you what, what is. <laughs> Savior. And I think I like that one because it said there is no Savior, meaning our Savior is God who came in the flesh. And that's who he is. <laughs> he said, I've come to pay the price. I paid the penalty. I did. And I like that. I thought that was a very strong one when he said that particular one. There, besides me, there is no savior. Mm -hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, he said, I'm gonna look at When y'all talk about the savior, I wanna make sure y'all understand the reason this particular savior that I sent you, because all the others are small, just like the G in there, is, right? Is that the, and he has another one where he had uh, small G, I think you read in the first one. 
You know, the commandment, let me just put that back real quick. You know, it's like the, the Exodus commandment was, see, 34 or 14, for thou shall worship no other, what? Small g. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. For the Lord capitalized, and he put all the, all the letters. All letters caps, caps, yeah. Right? Who name is, look, look at the difference between jealous yeah, my name is Jealous. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all yeah. are not going to put there and have the audacity to worship anything above me. I'm not even going to tolerate it. And then you, we use your, you as example of, of any father will be jealous if their children refer to somebody else yeah. as their father. You can feel that, right? That, 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 it, it, just, it, it creates emotional feeling, right? He said, I'm a jealous God. So what he said is there's, he put a small S. He said, there, there is no savior besides me. Because if it is one besides me, it's going to be a small S, not capital. That's how I just want to point that out to people. Next one, what you got next one say? <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel and his mm -hmm. Redeemer, mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. I am the first well, and I am the last. Come on. And beside me, there is no God. Come on now. <laughs> and and that's, that goes back to when they said they, said they wanted a king. They wanted a king. Yeah. And he said, look, look, I am the king. They rejected you, Samuel. They rejected me. So give him a king. <laughs> and, and, and look what he did when he gave him the king. He told him what type of king it would be, didn't he? Did you ever notice that? Let me, look, I, I'm new king. He told him exactly what was going to happen. He told exactly what was going to happen. Anytime, yeah. man, everybody listen to this, the words coming out of our mouth. Every time we try to put ourselves in a position above God. And I know some of y'all thought that y'all ain't saying y'all trying to put yourself above God, but if you try to interject yourself between me and God, you are saying that you're trying to substitute, you're trying to be God. Isn't it? Anytime you're trying to do that to me, you said you're trying to separate me from God by interjecting yourself. That's what happens when you talk about we were talking earlier, people, supremacy and everything else. I'm talking about black supremacy and white supremacy. And the fact is that if you try to say you are above me, that means you are a layer between me and God. And God is saying there is no other God besides me. Just keep that in mind. So what would you got the next one say? Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Come on. Have not I told thee? from that time come on now and i have declared it let me read that again fear ye not neither be afraid have i not told thee from that time and have declared it mm. ye are even my witnesses mm. is there a god beside me <laughs> yeah there is no god uh -uh. I know not any. <laughs> I don't know any. <laughs> you, you ain't getting it. And you know, I, I just I did um, thought about the other one you just read when he said, "I am the first and the last." You know, he he's telling you, look, I, I got it from both ends. You, you, ain't nothing in between me. Yeah. Nothing. Y'all, y'all trying to interject it. Anybody trying to sit there and say you better than other you? All of y'all made in the image of me. Every last one of you. And yet you dare. You dare. Think about it when you think about it, right? You dare a God's creation that's made in his image? Well, and every time us fear not, need to be, be you fear, like you said, fear ye not. Need to be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time that we're telling them now, they ain't heard it before, and have declared it. Ye are even my witness, which is what we are now, right? That's what you are mm -hmm. when you become born again. Is there a God besides me? 
yay, there is no God. None. No, I know not any. That's what he's trying to say. Fear not. Don't let people say, don't let, don't let people try to get you to fool you and say, hey, they're God or you, better than you. How can you be better than me? Who created, did you create me? <laughs> I just want to throw that in there. I, I kept, kept thinking about that. In 45 verse 5, I am the Lord and there is what? None else. None else. There is no God besides me. Gird thee, though thou hast not known me. What's the next one here? Come up. What you got, bro? I am the Lord, mm -hmm. and there is none else. There is no God beside me. Uh -huh. I girded thee, thou, though thou hast not known me. Yeah, and I think I may have recurred that twice in it. Yeah. I think that was in the last one. What's the that next they one? They may know from the rising of the sun. Come on now. The west, that there is none beside me. Uh huh. I am a Lord, and there is none else. I think we're just trying to nail a point there. You see what I'm saying? The whole point yeah. is trying to get people to understand. There is no other God. There's nothing beside God. And don't let anybody ever put you or make you feel that they're God over you. Never. In verse 21, 45, 21, what would I say? Tell ye and bring them near. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let them take counsel together. Uh -huh. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Uh -huh. Who hath told it from that time? Well, and not I the Lord, and there is no God else beside me, a just God uh -huh. and a Savior. Come there on. is none beside me. And he's saying, I'm a just God and I'm a Savior. And when we interject ourselves, we take and show that we're not just and we're not somebody's Savior. But that's, that's him telling, that's our witness. That there is no other God besides God. And that's who we worship. I think I told you last week when I told that, that young lady when she was talking about reincarnation and everything. Yeah. I yeah. said, well, who makes that decision? And that who makes that decision is the God that we worship. We're talking about the God of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and here, 